It's always like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video, we are going to take a close look at the 1001. And I must say that it's not the 1001 that I was really excited about. This is basically the thing how it looks. Yeah, you know, like I'm guessing this is going to be one of those 8 bits things again. But I really love when they create something pretty interesting and something new. So they also call this thing the K20. And yeah, this is absolutely freaking awesome. I have no idea what's on the box. I know like there are apps for you can look it up. I'm not going to do it because I'm just going to open it up. This thing calls also the Games Power. So I'm guessing this is the Games Power K20. Do I'm saying it correctly? Didn't really forget it. Doesn't matter. So this thing comes with 1000 classic nostalgia game or supporting 3.0 inch dis display and big TFT, white vision, what is it? Vision Zion or something like that. High picture quality. But inside we're going to get ourselves the controls and everything that we're going to need. So this K20, let's do in quick on seal and let's see what we're going to get. Yeah. ASMR time. Okay, they will give you some interesting presentation. The box isn't a very nice high quality one. And that is something that is always a good sign. All right, so let's open it up. Ooh. Okay, so what I really find interesting with this is like, if you, this is basically what you're going to get. So you're thinking this is going to be your typical multi-game card, but it is your typical multi-game card. Or what it is, it's a quite interesting one. So this is basically like a display behind it. <laughs> So you need to peel this off. So it, it's kind of funny, you know, like it always weighs quite heavy, but the interesting way is like this thing will need like a battery. Let's see if it comes with the battery. Oh, it's like convenient. Ah, there we have him, the BL5C. This is the Nokia old school battery. So I find a little bit of bummer. I need to peel off the sticker, but this is like pure nostalgia. Like Famicom games are basically like, like all of the Famicom multi-card games are so cool to see it like this way. All right, so let's peel it off, I guess. Uh, let's try it from a different angle. All right, so there was more like a kind of a protection. All right, here we go. And here we have the system itself. I'm going to I'm going to save this here because I think it's pretty cool. Okay, I can always now I was gonna like put it on the back. It's not a good idea. All right, so let's put the battery in. And let's basically let's see if it's going to be powering on. Okay, volume control on off is over here. Ah, freaking, the battery is dead. So, volume control, AV out. So basically this thing is only AV out, I'm guessing. So this is just a plastic bracket. I must say that I really like what they're doing over here. Like this thing looks pretty damn cool. Wireless controllers. It does have like a built-in battery. It does have like a very cheap feel. Let's smell it. Mm, it smells nice. Smell doesn't smell chemical whatsoever. We've got like plastic buttons like the start. Normally we have like rubberized. But that's it. Like, let's hook it all up. Let's charge it all up. The downside to this is there's only, let's see, inside a very short cable. Like, what the hell do I suppose they need to do with this? And then we have like an AV out cable. Kind of funny is like, Normally you have like these plug and play handhelds that just have like a display and an AV out, but that is basically what I get. I was hoping this thing was more like a piece of plastic than that was like a docking station. That would be cool, but no, it is just a piece of plastic that you need to click in here. And that's it. <laughs> it doesn't even like stay in its position. All right, so quite interesting. I think you can just put it on here like a system and you can just play your games like this. But first let's get myself a charger because they didn't give me one. Freaking chips gates. <sighs> All right, so let's power it on and let's see what we're going to get. Also, the control needs to power it on. Ah, there is some juice in the controller. It's going to be the same story that we've seen many times before now. So when you're pressing the volume control button, oh, this thing goes very loud. Reset. See, it resets basically everything. Goes back to the menu over here. Oh boy. Okay, but they're not like really lying about the display. So the display isn't way better display than we have seen before. You can see like the viewing angles are absolutely better. But let's take a close look at the games itself. Yeah, so it's going to be our typical like multi-game card. The thousand one is absolutely a lie. 
I'm going to get a lot of double games. We do have like a lot of familiar titles. I'm gonna be surprised that we're also going to get a lot of doubles. What I hate about these things that we're not going to get, let's say, in good, let's say, alphabetic order. Let me give you like a quick overview of everything. Well, let's boot up a first game. No, 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 wait, let's, let's go farther. I just want to see if we can find the same games again. Pinball 2, Zippy Race. Yeah, you get the point. That annoying soundtrack. Oh, so much better. Let's take a close look at Pinball 2. It's actually Pinball 2. Okay, the bottom mapping is completely weird. Huh, what? That goes great. You can hear that all the sound effects are here. Okay. I love to check out those weird games. Small dinosaur. Okay. Let's crank up the volume. Oh yeah, this actually like this weird homebrew games. Okay, so let's see what are we going to get with the Adventure Island. Let's see if there are like straight little screen tearing. You can see like we're missing a lot of details on the screen itself. We do have like a shitload of screen tearing. But let's plug it into the television just to see if we do have, still have the same issues. Alright, so when basically like plugging in the AV out cable, it will automatically go through the big screen. And I can tell you the signal output on this thing is absolutely horrible. Alright, so let's continue and let's see how it plays. Let's see if we do have like some screen tearing now. This is the screen tearing is basically the problem of the handheld or the mini device itself. I find a little bit of a bummer that this freaking thing has such a bad, let's say, video output. I can tell you, I've seen my share of video outputs that are pretty damn bad, but this is absolutely the king of them. Sound effects are all here. Oh, oh boy. Actually, the controller plays pretty damn good. Alright, so let's do a quick teardown to see what is inside and what are we going to get. So, I must say that I was a really bit disappointed in this and the main reason is just, it's just basically like a an, an Famicom inside a cartridge shell that we do have seen before. We have seen like the game shell, which is another really cool piece of tech. The only difference is that we do have like wireless controllers and the problem is we cannot connect original controller. I think with the game shell we had it, but we had like USB connection that we need to use. So, you know that was something they mess up, that is just a fact. Let's remove all of the screws. So basically what you're going to get with this device is just an, an handheld, they stripped from the buttons, they slept in a different casing. And now in the end, you can use this thing like a game system on the go, or you can just basically, ooh, wait, here it comes. Ooh, naughty, wicked is naughty, he broke the seal. And you can just play on the go. Semi, let's say, switch idea. All right, so let's lift it up. Don't know what's holding this thing back. Oh, I think I didn't. Yeah, that was a stupid screw was still in here. All right, so there we have like your typical tiny speaker that we can find in the handheld. Let's hold it like this because these cables are freaking thin. So you need to be very careful that you're not going to rip and tear it. All right, so let's check the date. So the date itself, it's 2022. So this thing is absolutely brand new. This is something they completely redesigned and made something unique out of it. I'm not going to do a further teardown because most of the time we're not going to get any information on the chip, I guess. Or wait, you know what I'm going to do? We're just going to do it. Let's do be crazy. 
it removed the last four parkers and let's leave those four aside I'm going to be very gentle with lifting up the PCB because the ribbon cable is connected over there so it's good to see that they do it in construction like this because you can replace the display but the funny thing is like if you need to get <laughs> find a replacement display first of all it's going to be like a nightmare and second if you find one it's even like almost most like the same price like the actual product mm, let's see all right so let's lift it out of here all right the display comes with it now let's see on my right that there is no information on the thing yeah so we do have like the black bob the black the blub the blub blub yeah, the black the blub blub is over here again all right so let's get myself the screw as i can point out so basically underneath they're also doing this to protect their like say software and stuff like that and here we have like the main chip this is a nesona chip that contains i'm guessing oh, is this a samsung chip yeah it's a samsung chip so basically this is more for the storage where the games are basically are so this is what we're going to get in the inside, nothing much, but still, I wanted to do a tear down for you guys, because you love to see things being ripped apart. A wicked loves rip and tear, yeah. But okay guys, I must give them some extra wicked kudos for being creative and do something different. But yeah, in the end, what you're basically going to get, if you're going to get yourself like a handheld, sometimes you can buy an 8-bit handheld with like say controller support, wireless, or most of the time it's, I think it's on the wire, and just having like a device. The idea behind this is just basically like put it on the table and just play a game. It's quite tiny a display. I think like, and again, like the idea behind is pretty damn cool, this Games Power K20. But yeah, it's just an 8-bit, and it would be so cool if you can play even with some arcade games on it. Maybe that's the next one. For now, this is what you're going to get. I hope this video helped out. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, and give this video a like if you liked it. And if you didn't like, you can just don't like it. Whatever. Well, it would be great to see you unsubscribed, and it would be great to see you in the next video. So let's go with the show. I can't get this thing out. What the hell?